Hey everybody, Jeff here, and in today's video, we're going to see which agents I could be in a 1v1 fight. So, to make this fair for me, because, you know, I am just a human after all with no weapons or anything, whatever agents I'm going to fight in a 1v1 uh, do not have any abilities at all. So, no orbital strike from Brim, no, you know, crazy killjoy alarm bots or nano swarms or anything, just a simple 1v1 with no abilities. I got this video idea by a YouTuber named Jitters. He posted a video that says, which agents can I beat in a fight? So, I'm like, you know what? That sounds like a really interesting video idea, too. So, just to give you a little background with me, I have never been in a fight before. All right, I'm, I'm 25 years old. I have never been in a fight before. Um, so I don't really have any fighting experience, but I do weigh, and I'm gonna get ready to say this, I do weigh 240 pounds and my max bench press is a 275. So I don't know if that tells you anything. I got some muscle behind me, but I've never been in a fight. Which brings us into our very first agent, Brimstone. So everybody guys, do you think I would win in a fight or do you think Brimstone would win in a fight? Again, no mollies, no stim beacons, no orbital strikes. He can't smoke me to blind me. Would I beat Brimstone? Hmm, Brim is pretty tough. I think Brim wins, yeah. So here's the thing, guys. Even though I weigh a decent amount, I'm 240, right? You know, I'm 240, it's a hefty guy. You know, I'm, I'm decently strong too, but uh, a Brim would absolutely destroy me because we know that Brim has been in the military. He's a firefighter. He knows how to fight. And just look at those muscles. He actually is a beast of, like a god of muscles men brim sorry jeppy no i totally i totally get it yeah brim would absolutely destroy me no doubt no doubt okay next up is cypher so guys i think i kind of beat cypher and even though cypher you know he has a backstory of you know living on the streets and you know he theoretically should have a good understanding of how to have combat i think cypher uh, cypher uses his gadgets more than he actually uses his body to do stuff you know what i mean i would win but barely because cypher is very 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 experienced i think i got the weight on him i think i got the strength on him i might be able to beat cypher in a 1v1 he is just a human after all he is just he's kind of skinny you're right you're right eksm he is kind of skinny okay so here comes jet so here's the thing no abilities but but jet is i bet you jet's reaction times are like incredibly fast because when you think about it when she's going like 90 miles an hour she's flying around so fast she knows how to dodge things right so even then i think that she i think that she would see my punches coming by like a mile you know like it'd be like me going slow motion in a dream trying to punch her she'd quickly move to the side and like just stab me or, 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 or give me a little karate chop in the neck or something agent would win but close i don't think i could beat jet i don't think it'd be even fight i have a strength on her but she would <laughs> You know, she would kill me. All right, next up is gonna be Omen. Uh, can I, can you even get in a fight with Omen? Hmm, because we don't know, really know if Omen can die, right? <laughs> like, uh, he's just a shadow after all. I think, I don't think there's any world where I could realistically kill Omen, right? Here's the thing, guys. If I were to break his suit, if I was to break his armor and his body escapes, because that's what contains his, his, his shadow, his soul, is his armor, his, his outfit. So maybe if I were to throw the best punch of my entire life, and I break his suit. That might, that might, you know, leak out his insides. I don't know. Uh, hmm. But here's the thing. I, I don't think I could necessarily break that in a punch. He could probably, obviously he can kill me. Obviously he could kill me. So since I don't think I can kill him, I think he would absolutely destroy me, right? Let's move on to Phoenix. Again, guys, no abilities, no real rating, crazy abilities. Um, I want to agree with one comment that I saw. Phoenix is all bark, no bite. Steel Crow, I think you're right. Uh, even though Phoenix is obviously an agent, I think he relies way too much on his radiant powers and overcoming his doing thing. I think Phoenix would take one look at me and say, dude, I got this guy so easy. He'd go in for an easy shot. I guess some crazy dodge out of the way and I hit him right in the neck or something. And he goes down to the ground and he's like choking. I think it'd be an even fight with Phoenix. I might be taller than him. I think I probably weigh more than him. I'm probably sh physically stronger than him, but he does have the experience after all. So how much is the experience going to carry him? Probably a lot. Um... I think, I think it'd be an even fight with me and Phoenix. I'm not going to lie. Next up is going to be Raze. And I think this is going to be the first agent that I would absolutely wreck. I think Raze is the first agent. I would just, just bah, 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 just absolutely just annihilate them because no abilities, no uh, crazy, you know, jump packs going around flying or, or boom, bah, whatever, you know, you want to call it for Raze. Even though she has experience of stealing things and being a little like crazy with, with, you know, tinkering and stuff. I think just a bam, right? A little, just a, one of the one, two Mayweathers right to the face will get him, right? Next up is Sage. Now, Sage might have some type of like hand on hand or hand, like hand to hand combat. Uh, even though I feel like I'm much stronger than her and I'm probably taller than her as well. No radiant abilities. 
I think it would be an Mm, I don't want to fight her. I wouldn't want to fight her either. I think she's a little scrappy. She comes across as like mommy sage, right? You know, just the healer. But I think she actually has some hand-to-hand -hand combat that we need to watch out for. I think it'd be even fight with me and sage. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think she's got some hidden talents that we don't know about. All right. Sage from her lore looks like a, looks like a martial artist. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like, I feel like she's probably got something behind her, right? Okay, so next up is going to be Sova. Um, when it comes to Sova, I think I um, see. I don't think he would destroy me, even though he probably he, he is does look like to be one of the more muscular uh, guys on the protocol, and he is obviously very very talented. Um, you know, growing up in you know Siberia, pretty much. Uh, and you know, hunting, gathering. Uh, obviously is really good with weaponry and and stuff so if can only see uh 2d with only one eye <laughs> no he's got the bionic eye if anything he sees more he's a pacifist he kind of is a pacifist right i mean we know that he let go of his agent he didn't like fight his agent um but i do think that if it came down to it and he wanted to beat me up and he definitely could be yeah maybe i could land a couple punches in if i'm able to get him right in that bionic eye maybe that'll help me out i think sova would beat me up would it be would he destroy me though i'm not so sure but he would definitely, definitely, definitely give me the runaround, if you will. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Viper. Uh, so Viper doesn't look like she's physically that capable of beating me up. I, I think she does rely a lot on her uh, uh, her mind, right? She has a lot. She relies a lot on her gadgets to do stuff. I think I would beat Viper, but I don't think I would absolutely wreck her. I, I don't think I'd absolutely wreck her. Like I would win, but barely. Um, but would I barely win, or would I would I absolutely like just wreck her? Uh, maybe you know. Let's give let's give let's give Jeppy or not. Oh my God, I'm Jeppy. <laughs> let's give Viper a little better for the doubt and say I would win, but barely. Maybe she gets a good lucky punch in there or something. All right, next up is gonna be Raina. Now I'm gonna be straight up, guys. Even with no abilities or anything, even with no abilities, or she has nothing. She can't like steal my soul as I'm punching her or something. I think she still destroys me. Oh, hell yeah, dude. She absolutely dominates. She has her way with me and then some. Like, she just will absolutely just lights out, this, just claw my face off or something. I'm so dead. Like, would I even stand a chance or would it be a, a, a somewhat of a close fight? No, you will not survive. Yeah, I don't think I will survive. I think, I think Reyna destroys me. So, uh, she would absolutely just, I mean, just, I mean, it's no competition. She killed me. Okay. Now here comes Killjoy. I was so excited for Killjoy because I would absolutely wreck Killjoy. <laughs> look at this, look at this little nerd here. This little nerd. I'm gonna be like a bully in, in sixth grade beating you up for your lunch money because you're a nerd with your nerd glasses. I'm just kidding. That was too far. But um, obviously, obviously Killjoy, e easy kill, right? KJ is dead. That's right. It's, that's exactly right. That's what I was gonna say. Killjoy, you're gonna get crushed. That's right. I'm uh, no no alarm bot to let you know I'm coming. No nano swarm. No no bot coming. No lockdown. I uh, just bam right to the face and you're done for KJ Take, give me your lunch money I'm getting another PB and J sandwich maybe an ice cream cone and you're gonna go hungry for lunch today because uh, you're done uh next up is sky obviously we know sky is a super super like um athletic you know nature filled like just 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 a pure athletic specimen right uh she she works out a ton she probably works out way 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 more than me um, I think Sky beats me up pretty, pretty good. Like, I, I, I <clears throat> would Sky destroy me? Like, is she on the same level of just absolutely just popping my head off like Brim? I can't kill him like Omen or Reyna just destroys me. I think Sky wins. Sky wins in a fight against me. You're probably going to get wrecked. I probably would get wrecked. I probably would get wrecked. I think, I think Sky destroys me. But I'm being real, she, I mean, like, just look at the muscles on her. Those are muscles are way bigger than mine. Moving on is Yoru. So I think Yoru is with is actually one of the best fighters on the Valor Protocol, even with no abilities, because we see what he does when you know he actually protects people getting bullied in you know on just a normal day in Tokyo. Um, he'll just straight up just 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 beat up like gangs of like six or seven people uh, maybe even more to save someone that they're beating up on without any radiant abilities without any weapons he just goes and beats them up so i think yor would absolutely destroy me he would i mean uh, like i'm just one 
tiny little person compared to the people that your beats up on a day-to-day -day basis knows how to ride a motorcycle uh, yes if, if if anyone who knows how to ride a motorcycle they're probably going to beat me up all right guys moving on we have astra uh, so astra the the queen of the cosmos is you if you will um we have to figure out if i would have a good chance against astra so she does have that golden arm i wonder if a good old swing from that golden arm is just, would be enough to knock me out um she doesn't look like she's like physically like a challenge like i think i feel like i would easily be able to overpower her physically but does she have the experience and with that gold arm would she bam i think i would win i would win uh you destroy her you think i destroy her really uh i mean she does look kind of petite uh you know I, I don't know a guardian of the cosmos you think i would you think i would beat up a guardian of the cosmos i probably would i probably would take her but would it be barely or would I absolutely just destroy her? Gold's pretty heavy, bro. She might uh, get the secret, the secret upper body strength. You're right. Maybe her left arm is like a charger and left for dead or something where, you know, the one arm is like absolutely massive and, and, and super, you know, like buff. And the one arm is like a puny little arm. Maybe she's like a charger and left for dead where that left arm is going to bam, absolutely wreck me. But that right arm, you know, is, is, is just like a little noodle, uh, a wet spaghetti noodle. Overall though, unless I, if I watch out for that arm, I think I'm good against Astra. If I watch out against that left arm, that golden arm, I think I'm good. Okay, now moving on, KO. I think I absolutely wreck KO, right? Like there's absolutely no advantage. Like KO, I absolutely destroy him. There's no way that KO wins. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, KO, KO is absolutely going to rip me in half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> KO beats you, bros made out of metal. I don't think I can even leave a scratch on him. Even if I'm like, even as he's choking me out, like Homer to Bart Simpson, even if I'm trying to scratch his eyes out, dude, he's, he's just, he's just going to kill me. Like he's just literally, literally, bro, literally KO could just, pff, like just rip me apart. He killed Queen Raina. He's a literal robot that is like, boom, boom, buff Terminator robot. Like I'm dead. Now. Here's gonna be a hot take, guys. Here's gonna be a hot take. Chamber. Do you think I could beat up Chamber? Now, without any weapons, he can't summon his Torta Force. No headhunter, no, no trip or anything. Uh, he is a tall, lanky guy. Uh, he is tall, but he's a string bean almost. Like, remember, like I said, I'm 240 pounds. I, uh, you know, I'm a little bit on the stronger side. I'm six foot. Looks like he might be taller than me, but I think I think this would be the most even fight. If you guys remember, he is very, very athletic. In the cinematic where uh, Chamber goes to rescue Brimstone and Viper with his mirror double, you see Chamber, dude. He's like, he's like jumping up all over the place, man. Remember when he's like going up against the try to save him and like all like the omen statues are getting him? Like he off of one foot, he's like going up like eight feet in the air, just like just jumping up. So. I think that he's very, very athletic. I do think that he's very, very athletic, but does he have the strength to beat me in a fight? I think this is a pretty even fight if you ask me between me and Chamber. Yeah, he's a little bit of a string bean kind of guy, but um, where I'm more of like a, a stockier kind of dude, but um, maybe the athleticism will overtake me. Up next is going to be Neon. So again, she's not super fast. She doesn't have electricity. It's just her. Hmm, she is small and petite, right? She is, she's kind of tiny. She, she does work out. She does work out with Sky. So she maybe she has some hidden strength they don't know about. But she is small. I think I might be able to take her. According to the height chart, Neon is the shortest, which is accurate to Filipinos, and Breach is is the tallest. Okay, so I was right. Breach is the tallest. Uh, I think I would beat Neon. Now, would I absolutely destroy her? I don't think it's even fight. If she's the shortest person, I think I got her, right? I think I win, but barely, right? I mean, her like same thing with Jet, like her reaction times might be like really good with how fast she is and stuff. Um, not, not as good as jets or anything, but I think I, I think I beat neon. I think I beat neon. Yeah. Uh, up next is fade. Now I think fade is scary as shit, man. Like I wouldn't want to fight fade at all. Again, no nightmare, no haunt or, you know, anything or crazy like prowl or anything like that. Um, but as when it comes to fade, I think she's got some hidden talent behind her that I don't want to go up against, man. Just choke me out. Maybe, maybe throw me on an arm bar or something. I don't know who knows, but, um, I think, I think. I think Fade would win, but close maybe. Like she, it doesn't look like she's like super, super strong to where she could like Mike Tyson me in one punch or something. It would be a good couple, you know, a couple swings back and forth. 
Um, I think eventually Fate beats me. I would run away from Fate even if she got no powers. Oh yeah, I still would too, dude. She, she's she's scary. So last up is gonna be Breach. Breach, Breach, Breach. Where are we going? Do I even stand a chance against this man? If you throw me and Breach in a ring and it's an enclosed, enclosed area, I can't get out, he can't get out. How quickly do you think it would take for him to kill me? Would it be one punch? Yeah, it would probably be one punch. <laughs> I think Breach is a pretty easy, he would destroy me. He, he would he would destroy me, no. I mean, no questions asked, right? No questions asked. Thank you everybody in the chat who was watching and thank you everyone on YouTube here watching. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, notifications if you're new. Now with all that being said, jippy out.